All right, we're moving along pretty good. We had 20 minutes to cover this last stuff, but it's stuff that should be reviewed, right? So, four functions. If we had f and g, does that sound bad? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, if we see something like this here, then it just means we're going to take the two functions and add them. So do you see the, the need for f of x and g of x in this case? Uh, if we subtract them, then it will look something like this. Multiplication, maybe they'll show a dot there. Sometimes it's an x, which I hate because then it gets confusing. Not that this helps, but... And then we have division here. So we're dividing just any of the four basic operations. Just remember on this one, g of x can't equal zero, which is going to affect the domain if they ask for it. So I have f of 4 plus g of 4, because they gave us the x value for both. So if I make my f of x, I'll put that in red. So I got 6 times 4 squared plus 4. Then I'm going to add this to g of x, but my x is 4 again, so 5 times 4 squared minus 2. You're always just... So 4 squared is 16, so I got 6 times 16 plus 4, plus 5 times 4 squared, again, 16 minus 2. 6 times 16 is uh, 96, I think, plus 4, hopefully, if I'm right. 5 times 16 is 80. That sounds good to me. And so when I combine all this stuff, which hopefully you're using a calculator to do so you don't make mistakes like I probably will. 178. So we would write this f minus g of negative 8. No. Did, which, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I got rid of it on purpose. So f plus g, bad g, uh, what do we do? 4 equals 178. So let's do f minus g. So I'm going to get rid of this stuff. So again, the for this one, the, the only thing that's going to change is that I should have a minus there now. So it's going to be the same functions, just, oh, and it's not a 4 anymore. Dang it. But that should work. So I'm going to do f of negative 8 in red. So I got 6 times negative 8 squared plus 4. And we're going to subtract this from, and this is important, we do need parentheses on this, 5 times negative 8 squared minus 2. So I ran out of space. So I got uh, 6 times uh, 64. That's positive because we got two negatives. Plus 4 minus, and in parentheses, I'm going to evaluate this instead of distribute that. If it were an expression, I would distribute that as a negative 1. So I've got 5 times 64 minus 2. So what is that? Uh, 360, 384, thank you. Plus 4 minus um, 320. Whoops. 320 minus 2. Ah, uh, then we just combine all the like, what the heck, I forgot the parentheses, sorry. So what does that give us, a 318? <coughs> so this would be minus that. And then we got 388 here. And this one looks like it's going to come out to 70. Unless I missed a sign somewhere, which is possible. Let's do f times g of negative 3. So we got f of negative 3 times g of negative 3. So my f of negative 3 would be 6 times negative 3 squared. That's a negative 3 plus 4. And then uh, I guess I should put this in parentheses as well, just because of the order of operations. 
And then I would multiply this by g of x, which would be 5 times negative 3 squared minus 2. Close my parentheses. And, uh, well, what do we get here? Uh, 6 times 6 is 36. I'm skipping a few steps just for time's sake. And uh, what do we get here? Uh, 45 minus 2. And there we go. Any questions on that? All right, division's going to work the same way, except for, again, we're going to have a 5 there. So uh, 6 times 5 squared plus 4. I'll divide it by 5 times 5 squared minus 2. So what does that give us? Uh, 25, 150 minus uh, plus 4 over 125 minus 2. So 154 over 123. I don't think that'll simplify. Nope. I don't. But you guys have calculators, so maybe. It... No. That sounds good to me. That should be rounded. Yeah, we can just keep it in fraction form if we want to. I hope I did those right. No, if it asks for a domain, then you may say that. Uh, but this one gave us a specific value of x to work with. Question. Yeah. Yeah. It should tell you where to round to. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm more interested in the work than...